I explained, I explained to the lawyer what my issue was. And his response was to me, if you keep up this anti-Semitic rhetoric, then you won't see your kids. Yeah, bro, because it spells to every court and every reasonable person that you are mentally unwell. People see that and go, oh my God, he's like out of control. Oh, here's Kanye West. I'm the LV show. Being anti-Semitic. These niggas is colonizers. The French own 80% of the banks in Africa. That's why I just met with MBS, head of Saudi. We don't have to bow to this. He said, he said the French are colonizers. True. That's why he met with Mohammed bin Salman, a monarch. Shit, nigga, we, okay, it's 60 million of us in America, 60 million Jews in the world. 50% of our deaths is abortion. 25% of us. This is crazy. It's just like, he's all over the place. Yeah, he's all Go over the place. Go to prison. Raise one hand if you don't know one prison, one got locked up, and one poor. Wait, raise your hand if you don't know, you don't know one person got abortion. Now, now I tell you, now I tell you, if it was in a Jewish mother on Friday with no everybody raised their hands. So, but wait, wait, wait a second. But who got, but wait, wait, wait a second. Who make the hospitals though? Who, who got the hospitals? These are Zionists. He's mentally unwell. It's silly to analyze things he says. I agree. He's saying Zion has built the hospitals. He's literally uh, way too much Farrakhan. No, this isn't even Farrakhan at this point. This is like, I, there is a little bit of Nation of Islam in there, but it's like more Nick Fuentes. I, I, I don't know. It's just like, I tried to unpack some of the shit that he was saying, and it's just so f it's like indecipherable. He does the whole, like, obviously, uh, he's talking about Jews, but he says Zionist because he thinks it's, like, slick. This is going to poison the well so hard for actual criticism of Israel. I was worried he would come back. I think that there is a, I mean, I don't know. I don't know about that. I, I probably, but I think most people understand, like, a dude saying he loves Adolf Hitler is very different. Kanye West is anti-Semitic. He's just straight up anti-Semitic. The idea that, like, he criticizes Israel is, like, secondary, okay? He's very, this is a clear-cut example of, like, this is a clear-cut example of, like, actually, very deliberately substituting the term Jew for Zionist. Something that is, like, cynically deployed oftentimes against uh, actual anti-Zionists who are not anti-Semitic. But Kanye is definitely doing that. This is what I'm trying to tell you. Jesus Christ, Hitler, yay! Third party, sponsor that. Yeah. Bring the sponsor. I mean, they're... Yeah, there you have it. There's no Zionism in his argument, okay? There's no no interest in, like, criticizing Israel for its actions against the Palestinians. He doesn't give a f sponsorship to that. Because there's going to be some f that feel exactly like me. I don't give a f I'm seventh. I don't give a f about life or death. I, I get visitation with my kids. I ain't going to say so. No. Them niggas walk around like, look like soccer players. They don't even know. They don't even know they got the dad. Can't. Stop using his racism due to mental illness that wait what i never said that i'm not excusing this what the f are you talking about i literally got banned for shitting on kanye west on a nazis on a neo-nazis platform last year around this time when he was popping off with his anti-semitic shit he just comes out once a year oh chick-fil-a wow i got the notification yeah they see me come play one on nobody they still feel you i wonder how many sex workers are in gaza lol what what does that have to do with anything? I don't know. Yes. Like, what is that? An argument like that you can't defend that you can't defend Palestinians because like uh, there aren't a lot of sex workers in Gaza or some shit. Like what? The, that like Hamas hates sex workers, so you can't defend you can't defend uh, uh, Palestinians being f uh, destroyed by the Israeli occupying force. Okay. They feel me, but they trying to program them. The head of Louis Vuitton, Bernard Arnault, you, Alexander Arnault, you, Francois Pino. You, Dimna, you, Balenciaga, uh, Cedric. By the easy pods, by the easy pods. Yeah, and fuck the penis. All the penis is like, the way I did it. Isn't Mia Khalifa Palestinian? No. Mia Khalifa is is uh, Lebanese Christian. By myself in this motherfucking room. Everybody shut the fuck up. Hey, shut the fuck up. Let me tell you something right now. Just the fact that you ain't listening to me, it's, it's it. Ain't none of y'all with me. I'm by my self. Cause ain't none of y'all stand up for me. Ain't nobody you stop. It's shut. Did you, shut up. up. Be quiet before you get exiled. Like, like, so I'm saying is, nobody with me. Everybody here having them motherfuckers on a check. Having them motherfuckers just here like, ha ha, laughing at jokes, laughing at the raps and shit. And then I made these beats in my mama basement. I drew these motherfuckers shoes since I was in seventh grade. Cause when I asked up, I'm not one 
stepped up. I'm not now one stepped up. I ain't even stepped up. Twice. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying. None of the famous math Carter sold me out. Yeah, I wonder why, bro, because you're nuts. Like, he's not listening to, like, one sane voice in his circle. He's purged his, like, immediate circle around. <laughs> wait, did he just? Wait, hold on. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying. None of the famous math Carter sold me out. You know what I'm saying? Nobody said y'all saw me and see my kids. All y'all rich got y'all kids up. Wait. Now one stepped up. She says, I did. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying. None of the fame. Mav Carter sold me out. She said, she said, I stepped up. And he was like, yeah, but, you know, no one famous or rich stepped up. It's also crazy to be like, oh, wow, I can't believe nobody's stepping up to defend me when I'm saying I love Adolf Hitler. Like, why the f*** would anybody do that? That's an insane thing to say. It's bad. It's a bad thing to say. You shouldn't be saying it. Problem is he doesn't recognize that, like, people around him who probably in private tried to get him to come to terms with uh, what is going on and the things he's saying are just, like, really, really awful. Like, bro... Alex Jones was outflanking Kanye West and being woke. They were all, every single right winger that he, whose show he went on kept trying to like change his narrative a little bit and massage it so it was like a little bit more appropriate. You got what I'm saying? Nobody said y'all saw me and see my kids. All y'all rich got y'all kids in that Zionist school. See Eric Kenyon. My, my daughter ripped up the mother couches in the house to be able to be with me right now. Y'all don't know what's going on, for real. Where y'all TikToking and all that shit. Y'all put up with all that shit. I don't give a f nigga. I'm in pop. I'm in Vegas. Like pop. My daughter had the Tupac t-shirt. So I'm saying, witness this shit. Visit this shit. But I don't believe in nobody but me. I don't for y'all. I gotta say we with you. You're not with me. No one's with me because no one's really with me. That chatter, that last chatter with the brain dead sex workers in Gaza. Take how racist must a Zionist Dota 2 league be? Oh my God. The chatter that came in and was like, how many sex work, how, how many sex workers are in Gaza? Lamau follows the Dota 2 Israel league. Oh my God. You know, they invented new slurs for Arabs specifically and for Muslims, oh my God. Like, I don't even want to know. They got new words in there. Me, but it's just God. me and God, that's what I'm saying. And I'm still alive. Let's go. And, and I'm still alive. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. You ain't post, you ain't, you ain't, you ain't post. When I couldn't see my kids, y'all ain't post. Y'all ain't stop the Adidas shit. Y'all let Adidas crash the rich all time. Y'all know I did. Hey, Adidas was begging. Wait a second, wait a second. I put up one tweet. And then Ari Emanuel put, oh, we got to drop this and all just watch. The only that had the Trump hat, the only that went and got them billions, the only breaking through all kinds of ideas and fashion. I've been called a so many times for tight jeans. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I, I got niggas from Chicago <laughs> that I take care of that still trying to sell me. Trying to say, I can't go to motherfucking. Bro, the funniest part about this is like, he's like, dude, I was, you know, I saw a lot of oppression. People said I was gay for wearing skinny jeans. I've always been a revolutionary figure. Like when I wore skinny jeans and people said the, the, the no, no word, the F slur. GD, I was a way bigger than you. Take care right of Right now, yo, thing is what, who, you wait, and say, God. Say, who you, who you, shut up. Who you think, no, hold on, hold on. Who you think the old man called? Shut up. You. We put, we put Drake on, we put Drake on stage. Who the old man called? You. You know what I'm saying? Does God put you in position? Nigga, just because I had a car, everybody. You the biggest best. That's what I'm trying to say to you yeah. right best. now. Best. This is what I'll y'all be waiting for. Bro, honestly, it's like, this is what happens if you're, you know, if you're bipolar and then you are just straight up surrounded by only people that are feeding into your mania. Like, this is it's crazy. Drake, oh. this is what you've been waiting for. Jay Z, this is what you've been waiting for. Kim, this is what you've been waiting for. All you. Look, let me tell you something. This is the way the world God works. God is Period. using him be, right now. Okay, be quiet for a second. I'll scrap for a second. <laughs> I love you, Bo. Okay. No, no, you got it. Get over here. Hey, sorry. sorry. Yeah. Come down, please. God. Yeah, he keeps telling her to shut the fuck up. God runs the world. Then under that, you got thousand-year-old families, Medici. Under that, you have the Vatican, the Pope. Under that, you have what? the financial groups that control all your shit. The Black Rock, Vanguard. 
After that, you have Putin. You have Trump. You have all this shit. And after that, you got what all this shit is. Entertainment. Hollywood. Bro said Medici. He put Medici upon the, the Vatican. Dude, it's kind of funny thinking that placing this level of control over the Vatican when the Pope is like gay and woke. Like half the Catholics hate the Pope. Almost every American Protestant wants to kill the Pope for both uh, religious reasons and also now especially because he's woke. Meanwhile, like thinking the Catholic Church in the Vatican is, is in control of everything that's going on is such funny like 90s era conspiracy theories you know what i mean like that's that's like the da vinci code shit right putting medici on the vatican to like secret society anti-semitism but instead of jews running the world it's italians yeah this is like the most unfiltered is italiophobia i've ever seen by the way like completely unacceptable the level of italiophobia is is out of control folks let me tell you Podcast. take that run that back run into schools what a also, is he wearing, like, is that the, the Albanian? Someone in the chat also pointed this out. I didn't want to say it. I don't want to put this on Al, uh, uh, Albanians, but what's going on with the fit? I'll give y'all one last thing before I go. When, when, you, when I first put the tweet up, I was dealing with a divorce lawyer. And I explained, I explained to the lawyer what my issue was. And his response was to me, if you keep up this anti-Semitic rhetoric, then you won't see your kids. Yeah, bro, because it spells to every court and every reasonable person that you are mentally unwell. It's not because of, like, Jews and the power that they have or whatever thing that you think is going on. It's because people see that and go, oh, my God, he's, like, out of control. Oh, he's wearing the German coat of arms? Yeah. Nigga, I knew said I couldn't have an opinion or I wouldn't see my kids. Y'all know who y'all playing with? This is a vessel of God. He gonna burn all your shit down. I swear. I knew these niggas is trying to make surviving yay, surviving this way. That's why I sent it up while I was still in the high schools. Bill Cosby couldn't do shit by the time they got him. R. Kelly couldn't do shit by the time they got him. That's why I had to send it up. Because the same niggas the that made him rich is the same niggas doing the documentary. And f Cootie, f you, because everybody saw that third episode. That's what the whole shit was about. Period. Me selling opioids. I'm not even bipolar. Anymore. Wait, what? Send it up. Because the same Send niggas that made them rich is the same niggas doing the documentary. And f Cootie, f you. Because everybody saw that third episode. That's what the whole shit was about. Period. Me selling opioids. I'm not even bipolar. Anymore. I have signs of autism from the accident. They're going to hit me with a f medication. How about selling opioids? Wait, what? He's saying. He's saying he got autism after his car crash? What? Cootie is his friend who did the documentary, his old friend on Netflix. How do you get how do you get autism from a car crash? Like I don't understand. It's for them. They made me the face of bipolar. Okay, big farmer, where are my royalties? <laughs> Why the <laughs> drugs you just sold off of the idea of yay being bipolar? I don't say shit right now. He's saying the last episode of the doc shows him spiraling and they were using that as a way to push big pharma onto the masses. It's kind of crazy that like when you are like a like a multi-billion dollar operation as a singular force, especially when you are uh, a, a conduit for so many feelings that people feel and, and music is like one of these artistic uh, expressions that that is really personal and people do develop incredibly parasocial feelings towards those who make them feel these experiences. They're like, oh, he understands me. It's wild that, like, even if you're a multi-billion dollar operation as a singular force, you could just, like, completely fall apart in broad daylight. God damn, dude. Mental health is fucking crazy. And when you have, when you have, like, you, you are always going to find people that basically serve you whatever you want to hear. Like, it's, it's so obvious. It's so obvious that like he will always have a bunch of people around him that are like, no, 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 you're the right, you're the goat king, you're doing all the right things. Kanye, say say whatever you want. Your bitch too bad. Yeah, that's right. It's not weird that she's naked all the time. We love that. We love that your wife is always naked and we never hear her speak. We we think it's cool. We love that 
Jonah Hill couldn't. We'd love that Jonah Hill couldn't stop you from being anti-Semitic. We think that's sick. You know what Kanye would be like if he got the same level of hate you do? He does get the same level of hate I do. What do you mean? He gets more hate than I do. Are you crazy? That's insane. It, it depends on whether it's deserved or not, but you're crazy if you think that I get more hate than Kanye. Come on, chatter. This is just him getting his donk sonked in Venice, Italy in broad daylight. I need your take. I mean, that part wasn't that bad. That part was kind of cool. Like, it was in a boat. I've also never heard the term donk sonked before, which is very interesting. You see and deal with more hate, though, talking to us all day. With peace and love, more people hate him than know who you are. Exactly. I 100% I agree with that assessment. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They come here so I think, crazy I think I pretty much wrapped up. Like, what are you like, talking? Who are you? Who are you? Who are you? I'm just saying. They yeah, take out. Take out. Take out. Yeah, come on. Yeah, come on. Yeah. Sorry. Sorry. Come on. Ready? I'm just saying, I was I'm just saying, I'm just saying, I'm just saying, come on. Are you? Nigga, take, sorry, they go. Can make him That's pretty crazy. I mean, look, artists live and die on the sword. You know what I mean? If, if his next album slaps, a lot of motherfuckers are going to be like, talking about how much they love Hitler, okay? If it doesn't, his is, life is Jover. It's so Jover. It's completely Jover. I... I think uh, people still worship him for the celebrity status, for the superstar status, for the for the music that he has made and how they felt when they listened to it. Wait, there's a second part where he talks about Trump? No way. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? The, the level, you can say, we still, they cut out, they, they stop, they stop famous ass rappers from going in. Motherfuckers didn't get permits tonight. Nicki Minaj didn't clear her verse. That's why I say ain't nobody with me. Because y'all just see that shit. Y'all see me not see my kids. Y'all see Nicki Minaj that clear the verse. Y'all see Adidas uh, drop billions of dollars and shit. And no one says nothing. No one is outraged. No one said, no one is with. If you want to be, okay. Whatever. It's cool. I, I, I'll be fine for that. When a motherfucker tell me they love me, it make me feel funny because I feel so much hate, bro. When that motherfucker tell me y'all respect me, I feel funny because I, I feel so much rape, bro. I feel so much rape. What? When the last time you see me around a nigga that went on salary? I don't know what a friend is. Okay, but like, problem is like, how does he have people around him? No, he's saying it. Like, he even recognizes it himself that like, he recognizes it. He recognizes it himself that people around him, he is paying uh, and and they're sick of fans. Anyone that has any semblance of like authority in his life, Kanye's stands for the past two years. Besides the Hitler part, he was spitting straight fact. I thought separating the art from the artist was some bullshit till my goat started talking about those Hugo Boss uniforms. CDLRG still the greatest album series of all time. You just gotta scroll past these videos. Yeah, on the timeline real fast. Kanye is back. Trump is back. It truly is Christmas. All right, let's hear what uh, Anthony. Fantano had to say, even though he gave Nicki Minaj a three, we're going to listen to him here. Age for Kanye and Ty Dolla Sign's new album, Vultures, is now down off stream. Who cares about that? Let's talk about how Kanye is still on this Nazi shit. So as some of you guys have probably seen, uh, he's been placing this very particular double-headed bird crest in numerous visuals uh, around the promotion of the record. And it is very much giving German nationalism vibe. It's so weird that he's doing that. Because, like, that's what the AFT do, AFD does, right? Because they're cucked by German hate crime laws. Murat! Milk, milk, lemonade, round the corner, fudge is made. Kanye 2030. Dude, bars. It's not weird. It's Kanye nothing. He does make sense. No. He's doing this thing that, like, fucking, like, AFD supporters do where they can't us fly the swastika so they fucking fly the german coat of arms and like the old uh the, the old german flags and shit as a huh see like i'm doing this it's so fucking stupid especially because he's not exactly subtle vibes there is also of course the album art yeah the vultures album art uh and also the vultures like this is straight up burzum obviously like, someone is feeding him all the Nazi memes. I don't know why. I don't know where he's getting this shit from. This is, like, esoteric Nazi memes that you only know if you're... You only know this kind of stuff if you, like, follow this shit like I do. You know what I mean? You have to have a dude in your corner that's, like, really fucking grimy and really nerdy about hiding Nazi stuff. In uh in in visuals like a like a Milo Yiannopoulos type dude, you know what I mean? This is all like fortunate shit. What is Burzum? Burzum, Burzum, 
It is a black metal uh, band who he sampled Borzum once on a Gucci Mane song in 2016. So even the Borzum thing is not new. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like sampling Borzum in a song is not the same as like fucking directly ripping the the gothic font that they use and and making your album title Vultures with the. I didn't know you knew about Borzum. I've talked about Varg before. Are you kidding me? One of the fucking silliest motherfuckers out there. The old English font, sorry, not gothic. Art, which is very clearly ripping off the album art of Burzum, a Scandinavian black metal artist who has uh, very publicly voiced white supremacist views. Meanwhile, the landscape itself depicted here on the album cover was done by a German artist who at one point was very much favored uh, by the Nazis, which yeah. you can read right here below. And let's be clear, he had nothing to do with them personally. Uh, he died long before they were in power. So Kanye is very much doing this weird white supremacist breadcrumbing once again. Two things. One, don't allow his annoying ass fan base or really cult, because that's what his fan base is at this point, a cult. Don't allow them to gaslight you into thinking that it's not happening and it's not real and it doesn't exist. It is real. And two, why is Kanye doing this? And it's got to be for one of two reasons. One, Kanye not too long ago went on that whole, you know, white supremacist jaunt where he was palling around with white supremacists and endorsing Hitler. And now he just wants to work race. Oh, yeah. He wore a, a fucking Klan robe, dude. Kanye, wore, Kanye West wore a Ku Klux Klan inspired hood at the rave listening event for his new Vultures album with Ty Dolla Sign symbolism into his art as a means of maybe disarming any criticisms that people might still have around it. like the difference between imagery such as this especially coming from a prominent black artist uh is obviously he's like pro nazi that's the difference because like black skinhead as as a song or uh or or what do you call it like uh like kanye west is, could be Kanye West has uh, criticized the Klan before, right? In the past. Like, this is very different than... This is very different than, like, Roger Waters wearing a fascist uniform to criticize fascism as a part of his commentary, right? Because he's anti-fascist. Whereas, for Kanye West, like, Sure, there was a lot of times when he actually uh, criticized uh, white supremacy and and the Klan and whatnot. Uh, but but now his perspective has shifted dramatically. So this is not like him taking artistic liberties and and in my opinion shitting on the Klan or anything like that. It's more so he's just straight up promoting it and and trying to trying to uh, hype it up as though it is like a like a solid aesthetic choice it, which honestly only an idiot would fall for and is a coward's way of kind of stepping around the necessity to apologize for and fess up to the things that you said and things that you did and the other possible option is that he actually believes in this stuff and thinks it's true either way it's not good yeah he's out of he's out of his mind i mean i don't know what else to say i just don't know what like i don't know what kind of impact this will have on like a broad swath of the population that has loved his music and continue to promote him. Clamped at the airport when they gave me my first piece of medication was the exact same paparazzi that photographed Britney. TMZ, 30 mile zone. Mm -hmm. That is what Hollywood is. Once you go in there, them niggas is around you. They go surround you. They in charge. He's an artist. Stop trying to logically dissect art. Wait, what do you mean? You're saying stop trying to dissect art. What are you talking about? That's like, what good is art then? Charge of that shit. They in charge of your fucking narrative. They in charge of your bank account. They in charge of your cars. They in charge of your record labels. They in charge of your football contracts. They in charge of your houses. And I'm saying, niggas be coming to me really like, working me talking about some, where you going, I'm gonna apologize. When they gonna apologize to me? When they gonna apologize to us? Yeah, facts. Aborting us. Locking us up, putting drugs in front of us, locking up all our leaders and calling them gang leaders. Oh, Who else is going to put the community together? And anybody that could put the community together, they put them under the jail. And when I talked to Trump, he ain't never, he ain't never, he, he ain't never get Trump. Trump, Trump could have freed Trump. Larry, bro. Trump.
You know what I'm saying? So Trump, look, you want our support? You have to promise in writing on your life. You gonna free Larry, bro. And that's not just it. The communities, it's so many acres in America. We don't have to stay in the inner city. We don't have to stay on top of each other. They motherfucking the Twitch double the size trying to make us fat. They doing this inclusive shit. They just made that girl Paloma the head model. They trying to push uh, obesity to us. They try to, they put us in a McDonald's commercial. They put your brother in a McDonald's commercial. They try to put me in a McDonald's commercial. McDonald's kills you, my They not putting healthy shit. You can grow food right off the side of the ground, my You don't gotta pay for all this shit. And all this Chanel shit, shit we do to impress niggas going broke to impress other broke people, man. Yeah. Chanel bag and any- Cut it. <laughs> no, he's shitting on Chanel, cut it. <laughs> This man is a cult leader. Hassan isn't opium anymore. No, I'm still opium. Shut the fuck up. I'm so opium. Don't ever say that. I'm still opium, chat. How dare you? I'm so opium. I'm, I'm a narcissist. Vamp life.